Good afternoon. I'm just sitting here praying and getting my mind focused on the message that God has laid on my heart for us to focus on this evening when we come together to pray and to study His Word. We've been talking about practical Christian living, and tonight our focus is going to be on because we have chosen to be Christians because we've chosen to acknowledge that God has put in His Word commands, precepts, expectations for us to follow. Now, as a result, what does that mean as far as application? What things should we welcome into our lives? What things need to be removed from our lives? What about the things that aren't talked about in Scripture? What are we going to do how are we going to know what God expects of us? We're going to look at several principles tonight that are going to help us govern those areas of our lives, helping us to make good, right, wise decisions according to the scriptures. I want to challenge you this afternoon as you prepare your heart and your mind to come and to take part in that prayer time and Bible study. I want you to be thinking about what are some of those areas that are maybe not covered in scripture. Maybe some of them are even controversial as far as should a Christian be a part of it? Should a Christian be around certain types of people or allow their influences in their lives? I want you to think about some of those things and we'll discuss several of them tonight. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I want to encourage you uh, to be praying. Uh, several folks in need right now. Uh, there was a, an accident last night uh, at the Cherry's home, and a drunk driver hit their vehicle and their neighbor's vehicle. No one was hurt, praise God for that, but uh, still uh, some difficult things to deal with now. So please be in prayer for them. Also remember Miss Emma Allwine, uh, several ladies went uh, to visit with her today, uh, but uh, she's struggling right now with her health and uh, having a tough time. So please uh, pray for her and uh, just ask the Lord to have his hand of healing upon her but I'm sure that you also have battled this week. I'm sure there's been some adversity. I'm sure some of your resolve has been tested. And I want to encourage you to keep going. I want to encourage you to trust God. And I want to encourage you to be here tonight. Don't let anything get in the way. Just determine that you're going to be here because we know it's where God would want us to be as a church family. We should assemble every time the doors are open at every opportunity, but also because it shows the devil that he's not going to win. It reminds your flesh that your spirit is the one that you're going to yield to when you have the option. And so I want to encourage you, please plan to be faithful tonight. Be praying about the service asking God to work in your heart, asking God to work in your mind, and asking God to help all of us to be yielded to him, to be faithful to him. I'm looking forward to seeing you here real soon. Sure to love you, church family. God bless. We'll see you in just a little bit.